Hi, my name is Hrishikesh. In this video, we are going to discuss about unlimited web hosting to your Flutter project. So if you are a Flutter developer and if you are developing Flutter for web, then you might want to sh uh, show your project to your colleagues or to your friends or someone you know. So I know a hosting provider who can give you unlimited bandwidth and unlimited page views for your Flutter web project. If you are interested, then watch this video till the end. And if you are new here, I'm Hrishikesh and I make this type of videos. So if you like, you can subscribe and also share with your friends. So without wasting more time, let's get started. So this is a new Flutter project, okay? To uh, run this Flutter web project, just type. I think you know all of this, but I want to do the drill. Okay, so bear with me. So at first, run Flutter run default device Chrome. And here you go. Our Flutter project will build itself and a development server will run in our chrome web browser so here it is this is our flutter project okay so this is the flutter demo home page and here we all know this counter app if you click 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 then it just changes the value and it is in debug mode okay so let's close it first so to build a flutter web project we just run flutter build web as we are going to deploy it in a cloud hosting provider so at first we have to install some dependencies for that here is a package in pub.dev called peanut okay so to install this peanut in your local machine just type flutter pub global active peanut just copy it then paste in your terminal and it pull the peanut package and install it for us so it is done when we run this flutter pub global run peanut command then it create a git branch called gh pages okay or we can rename it uh, something else like uh, deploy or like build with this dash b um, flag dash b flag so it means that it builds the web optimized version of our flutter project and it saves this version in a separate branch called gh pages so to do all of this thing we have to initialize a git repository in our uh, local project for that just type git init okay it is done let's zoom in for you after git init type git add dot git commit as this is our first commit so it is done our git repository initialize now to connect it with uh, a remote github account just go to github and create a new repository this is a this is an empty github repo copy this url and go to your terminal and just type git remote add origin and the url we have copied from github just hit enter and our remote branch is set now to push this code to the github repo type git push upstream origin master so now if we refresh this github repo then we can see our newly created flutter project here in the repo our initial setup is done so after that we have to run 
the spinner to build our web optimized version okay so copy this thing and go to your terminal and paste it and run this command it is going to build our flutter project in a separate branch called gh pages so now if we uh, check how many branches are there in this git repo just type git branch then you can see a new branch called gh pages has created by the spinner and if we look uh, what are the folders and you know files in this git gh pages just go to just type git checkout gh pages now here you can see the main dot that is not there and it build out our uh, flutter web project so to push this in our remote repository just hover over this small little icon in the in your vs code and and click it this is done and if we go to this github page and refresh this then we can see there are two branches the master branch and the gh pages branch so if we click on a gh pages, uh, gh pages branch then we can see all of the uh, static assets like index.html the javascript file are listed over here so now we have to uh, deploy this project this uh, gh pages branch to a unlimited file hosting service okay are you interested the hosting service is called cloudflare pages it is the cloudflare pages home page and here you can see the pricing model okay so here in the free tier you can get one bill at a time which is more than enough 500 bills per month okay unlimited sites unlimited request and unlimited bandwidth this is the cheapest plan you can get in the art okay so to deploy this our uh, flutter web project in this service then go to uh, log in to this cloudflare pages and if you log in then you can see this type of a dashboard come to these pages and then click create a project okay so here you select github or gitlab whatever you are and select your github account and then this is our flutter web hosting uh, repo from our github okay this is the flutter web hosting repo it pulls the flutter web hosting repo from the github and click on the begin setup so this is the project name flutter web hosting and then it gives us the url to which our flutter project will deploy so here's an important thing the in the production branch we have to set gh pages not master because in master we are developing our app but in gh pages peanut will uh, build and you know push the changes so we have to select the gh pages then here in the build setting the framework preset will be none build commands none because it is already built by peanut and will output directory is just slash okay so just click save and deploy it is very easy actually i think so the cloudflare is going to um, initialize the build environment that it clone our git repository then it build our application and then it's deployed to cloudflare's global network the main positive point of this cloudflare pages is that it deploy our site to its global CDN so your flutter website will be very fast and very responsive uh, if you deploy it to the another service or your own servers then you have to set up your own servers own CDN networks and this is very painful I think as a developer because our job is not um, deploying the thing not to manage the infrastructure but to write code and innovate ourselves i think this this is a very good service and it is free also so why not use it so you can get a link in my description if you click there then you can then you will go to the cloudflare pages and then you just 
deploy your own Flutter projects. Just don't forget to show me what you have built in Flutter web and deploy it in Cloudflare pages. So it will take some time. So here you can see a success message have come up in front of us and this is the link of our deployed Flutter web pages. So if we click and here you can see this is our Flutter web project. If we click this plus and here, and here you can see it is working very fine. So this is it for today and if you really enjoyed this video don't forget to share with your friend and i am Hrishikesh and i make this type of videos if you like these videos and want to see more content then hit the subscribe button if you're new here and also don't forget to like because it pushes my video up in the youtube algorithm so that's it for today let's meet on a new video bye bye